This is a commercial for China's Qiaobi laundry detergent, not a very famous brand. A Chinese woman shoves the product into a black worker's mouth in the midst of their flirting, before suddenly pushing him into a washing machine. What outraged many international viewers online is that when she reopens the machine, a pale Asian man emerges instead, to the woman's delight. The advertisement has been airing in China since at least April, but it only began to cause a sensation last week when it went viral on foreign social network sites. BBC and CNN have slammed it as blatant racism, with many netizens, both Western and Chinese, saying they are appalled and can't believe what they see. We showed the ad to some passerby on the Chinese street, most instantly condemned it as racist. This is too much. What if a foreign laundry ad washed off the skin color of an Asian guy and turned him white? That would be unacceptable to us. Many Chinese companies fail to understand the sensitivity of racism. It's a shame, but it's common in China. But on reflection, some offered further comments. I think it might be because that we don't have much history of, people, uh, of black people fighting against discrimination here in China. And that's why uh, many people here are lack of the awareness of how sensitive this topic is. But of course, it doesn't mean that Chinese people are against the idea that everyone is equal and should be respected. Adding to the controversy is the fact that the commercial is almost a complete reproduction of an Italian detergent brand aired nine years ago. Same music, similar plot. The only difference is that the Italian product turns a white guy black. Infringing intellectual property rights is one thing to be criticized, but some Chinese netizens also questioned why the skin color can only change one way. In an interview with the BBC, Chiao Bi's director says he didn't go over the content of the ad carefully enough and admits he didn't consider its racist undertones. Like in any country, Chinese law on advertisement bans discriminative content based on religion, gender, race, and ethnicity. But how this particular case got the approval from the Chinese government to be broadcasted and how the authorities will respond remains to be seen. Han Peng, CCTV, Beijing. If you like what you just saw, follow us on social media and visit our website, cctv-america.com.